Okay. Lawn sprinkler lines, soaker hoses, if you will, they can be exposed, but they should be stapled. There's one stapler right here. Okay. They should be stapled every 12 inches if they're going to be exposed like that. It's probably just a little missing mulch, but that's the deal. Got a long water heater, this and this and this. I'm going to put this guy back from the exterior video. Okay. Still in the garage. We do not have the protective prism covers over the fluorescent tubes here. This luminary right there, I don't think he's hanging. He's just not mounted flush to the wall. Okay. Electric service panel. We've got it opened up now. This is part two. There should have been little rubber protective booties over L1 and L2 here. And then these wires should not be touching the panel cover. Okay, and we shouldn't have a gap more than an eighth of an inch. So we will say a quarter as to this in both. We shouldn't have a gap like that between the cabinet and the wall. We shouldn't have unprotected conductors coming in. It's probably to the hot tub. Probably the braider that's added here. Okay, this is touching the wall, so it's just wrong all kinds of ways. See these little connectors? Okay, and it should, connector should have been there. And we shouldn't have open knockout holes in the cabinet. That compromises it. Also in the cabinet, the bonding location should have been labeled. Um, it's there. It's the u for down here below it. It's pretty obvious, but it's supposed to be labeled inside the cabinet. So it kind of is what it is. And you can see that. Okay. Nothing exciting coming in. Ceramic tile, we already mentioned that. Okay, a lot of this is beyond the scope of the inspection, but a lot of these door stops are missing. Okay, ceiling fans in about every room. Ceiling fans have seem to be in pretty good shape. Okay, vinyl, and am I right about this? Yeah, they're single hung, single sash, single hung vinyl windows. More missing door stops. Beyond the scope of the inspection, like I said. Laundry equipment's beyond the scope of the inspection. I haven't checked this guy yet for power. Okay, I haven't checked this guy yet for GSCI, but I will. There's the, okay. Then um, this closed door vent, when it goes up to the ceiling, that guy should have been um, uh, labeled. There should be a notice saying the length of him, and, and there's not. Coming on along. Oh, by the way, it does have a vent fan. Um, not required, but it has one. Smoke alarms and carbon monoxide alarms are in all about the appropriate locations, so that's good. Refrigerators are beyond the scope of this inspection. There's another notice right there. I'll take a picture of that in a little bit. The one I had was this one on the side. The oven, okay, it has an anti siphon device, excuse me, an anti tip device right there. So that's good. The microwave shouldn't be any closer. This shouldn't be any closer to this than 24 inches. Different manufacturers have different specifications, but um, that's what without those specifications. And there's the vent. And there's the metal tray right there. If you read the instructions, oh there's some instructions. I'll read those and see if it's too far. Read the instructions that metal tray is only supposed to be inside of here when it's in use. Only when in use. Okay. Dishwasher's on and running. Okay. This is called a foul line, F-O-U-L, right here. That's where all the cooties hide, germs and stuff. It's supposed to cascade down. Most of them don't. 
I don't know of anyone that's gotten changed, but it's still not supposed to do that. Uh, if you read the instructions for this guy right here, they'll say you're supposed to have clips underneath this. All right. They don't mention anything about uh, a little light on the subject. They don't mention anything about being held up with sticks and boards, but it's probably not going to go anywhere. And I probably wouldn't stand in the sink either. Any sink. Garbage disposal is one half horsepower. The nice thing about this, okay, every once in a while, I say nice things. Extender rings have been installed. Okay, I'm, I'm used to not seeing that. That's the reason why I take that off, is so I could uh, shame somebody, but I've been foiled. All right? Purses. Then this overhang for the countertop is less than 10 inches, so a corbel or additional supports are not required. When you have a gas cooktop like this, when the oven's on, that's how, how we're doing in here. Yeah, nice and warm. We'll just cancel that. Cancel the oven light for the time being. Still haven't done the barrel yet. Still haven't operated that. Still haven't looked at the instructions. But when you have a gas cooktop, you should not have a ceiling fan in the kitchen. The theory is it could blow out the burners and your house would fill up with gas. The statistical relevance of that is probably nil, but that's the deal. Coming in along here, we're in the master bedroom. All right, another ceiling fan. We have a thermostat in the master bedroom. I'm gonna turn that down. I think it was on 72 when I got here. I ran the air conditioner, then I ran the heater, and the heater's working fine. Air conditioner's working fine. I haven't been in the attic yet, but you should not have a thermostat inside of a bedroom, okay? You close this bedroom door, this thermostat will make this room perfect. Everybody else may be miserable because the thermostat doesn't see what's going on outside. I wish mine was in my bedroom carpet okay we got a couple examples of this what are you oh it's for the uh, upper we have these light fixtures that are all hooked up by extension cords all right that's a temporary application you're not supposed to use this in a permanent application so that's wrong if I unplug it it's fine because it's not installed okay Moving back through here, master bathroom, garden tub, that's what they call it if it doesn't have a jacuzzi. I haven't run any water yet, okay. Um, shower. This door, the master soil room, soil closet, commode closet, okay, that door closes on its own accord. This is called a dilution valve. It's called a dilution valve. Okay, that keeps the water, the hot water from scalding. That's a good thing to have. New construction, I would have called it out. Okay, I've been there. Back to ceiling fans in the wrong locations. Just like on the jacuzzi outside. This fan's not supposed to be within eight feet of this bathtub. I know you're probably not gonna throw a wet towel up there. I get that. It's not supposed to be. Moving on along, I shot this floor. Shooting the floor is measuring the floor height elevation differentials. I'm not an engineer, it's engineering equipment. I'm not an engineer, I'm a measurer. Okay, I'm just a blue collar guy measuring things, looking for signs. I didn't get two inches of difference over the entire footprint. In fact, what I measured, which is partial, representative samples, only got about an inch and a half. So in construction terms, this floor is level, okay? So there's no warning signs, no warning signs on the brick on the exterior. I haven't, you know, messed with the windows a lot. Got one door that's closing on its own accord. 
Moving on along, hall bathroom. Getting pretty uneventful. By the way, I have operated a little bit of the sinks, but I haven't really studied them. I I also operated the commodes. I studied those better. The commodes are fine. Coming along in here, another missing door stop. Right. There we go. Um, the floor tile is all messed up right here in this closet. Okay, this linen closet in the bedroom hallway. Okay, that floor tile is messed up. I don't do it to a floor tile, but it's messed up. All right. Ceiling fans. Some of your windows are sliders. Okay. Now if you have a child that's here, or maybe an elderly person, they may have trouble getting this top latch in case of emergency. A lot of people leave that latch unlocked and just do the bottom one. Whichever way you feel best, it does have two latches. I'm going to tell you not to secure your home. Coming on along. The other bedroom. Other bedroom, missing door stops. One luminary, okay. One luminary right there. I'll spend a little more time in here doing outlets and stuff, messing with the kitchen a little more, messing with the microwave a little more, okay? But basically that's, it's, oh, back to extension cords and permanent locations. This house is, the interior has been painted with a light gray. It's pretty good if you're running a photography studio. But um, it does, nobody's paying me to decorate, but gray does suck the color out of things. So we've got lights. We've got lights that have been added over there, there, and there. Okay, and they're all held in place with extension cords. This one, extension cords, that, that's an improper junction right there. So, where is it? Yeah, it is. I don't they all look like that. This one doesn't seem... Just that one. Okay. You shouldn't use these regardless. Okay, if I unplug that, I fixed it. Alright. I have those switches on that you can use. I'm leaving them plugged in because I need the light. 